Good morning. I'm Charles Lejano. This is One News Now. The government is launching events to help small businesses survive the pandemic. Let's head over to San Juan where a few locally made products are on display. Justine Punsalang is in Green Hills to cover the event. Justine, what can we find there? Charles, if you're looking to buy locally made products from different provinces in the country, then just head over here in Green Hills, San Juan. But you have to do that today because the suppliers will only be just for here just this morning or just this afternoon. The Bureau of Domestic Trade Promotion, in partnership with the regional and provincial offices of the Department of Trade and Industry, launched today its 16th Bagsakan event. It aims to help micro, small, and medium enterprises that are greatly affected by the COVID-19 pandemic by bringing their products closer to consumers. Today, you can browse products not just from the metro, but also from Laguna, Rizal, Palawan, and Oriental Mindoro. We've seen Marikina made leather shoes and wallets, abaca shoes from Nilio Laguna, those nice tablea from Davao, the aromatic alaminos longanisa from Pangasinan, your breakfast staple, boneless bangus from Dagupan, and a lot more. According to Trade Promotions Group Undersecretary Abdul Ghani Makato Makatoman, they decided decided to push for Bagsakan-type events after the National Food Fair was cancelled due to the pandemic. He says they really want to save small businesses that are on the brink of shutting down. So far, the Bagsakan event had already helped 65 MSMEs plus 23 more that are, cur that are currently here in Green Hills. The past 15 Bagsakan events were only held inside the DTI compound, but for this event and the next upcoming events, or next upcoming Bagsakan events, the DTI is partnering with other malls for better food traffic. Also, the BDTP partnered with Sagana Online for cashless transactions. Charles, today's Bagsakan event will be until 2 in the afternoon at G's Trip in Green Hills, San Juan. So shoppers still has a lot of time to come here and browse through the different products that are available here. I'm actually wearing a face mask from a shop called Moonlight's Handicraft. So uh, if, you're, if you want to buy anything local, then just come here. As for you, Charles, do you have anything you want me to buy for you? Like some tablea, please. Definitely some tablea. So thank you, Justine. Don't forget to drop off my tablea when you uh, head back later today. Again, that was Justine Ponsalang, live from San Juan. Here are other stories we are keeping our eyes on. The health department is pushing for a one-hospital command to manage the allocation of hospital beds for COVID-19 patients. Talking to 1PH's Satoto lang, DOH Undersecretary Maria Rosario Vergere explains that they will have a command center that will assign patients to hospitals linked to the network to avoid overwhelming a few facilities. MRT moves the scheduled suspension of the line's weekend operations to September to October because of COVID-19. But maintenance provider Sumitomo assures the public that they will still be able to complete rail replacement by the end of September this year and increase train speed to 60 kilometers per hour by year end. And U.S. lawmakers grill the CEOs of four of America's biggest tech companies over antitrust issues. Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg, Amazon's Jeff Bezos, Google's Sundar Pichai, and Apple's Tim Cook took the spotlight at a virtual committee hearing seeking to probe whether these firms have become so powerful that they've gobbled up the competition. For more updates, follow News 5, Philippine Star, and Business World Online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. And you can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Charles Lejano. We are One News.